Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna go through this Leaco 238 product of Array Exam itself. This question was asked by Leaf for eight times in the past two years, PayPal and Oracle and other companies. Let's dive in. Given an array, integer array nums, we need to return an array answer such that the I index in the answer array is equal to the product of all the elements in the numbers array except itself. We need to write an algorithm that runs big old n time also, we cannot, this is important, we cannot use any division operation. Let's take a look at an, answer, uh, an example over here. We have a numbers array, one, two, three, four, and the output needs to be 24, 12, eight, and six. So where does it come from? So for example, the first one, it's gonna be the product of everyone, but the first element, because itself is at the index of zero, right? So. Let's take a look at it together, right? So one, uh, we cannot use one because that's itself. So it's gonna be two times three times four, that's 24. Second element is gonna be one times three times four, that's the second element. The third one is gonna be two times, oh, sorry, one times two times four because itself gonna be the three. The last one gonna be the product of the first element because it does the fourth element. Let's take a look at another approach that can solve this problem. And we need to have a cumulative product array from two directions. One direction is from the left to the right. Another direction is gonna be from the right to the left. So take, let's take a look. We have, for the first direction, we have a product, a cumulative product array that, that goes like this. One, two, six, and 24. And so where does it come from? It actually comes from the cumulative product. So it's, it's gonna be one, that's the, going to be the product of itself. So that's going to be the one and two right here. It's actually a product of the, the, the first two elements. It's one times two. And then the six is going to be the product of the first three elements. One times two times three. The last one is going to be a product of all, all of them all together. One times two times three times four. That's 24. And second cumulative product array is going to be going the other direction. So we will have the four, that's the product of itself. And then the 12, is gonna be the product of the last two elements for, again, so we are going from the right to the left. And then the, the third number is gonna be the product of the last three numbers, four times three times two. The last number is gonna be product of all together, four times three times two times one. And you notice that we actually do not need the last element because that's the product of everybody. And in the question statement that clearly states that we cannot have the product of like it need to it need to be except itself, right? So we will truncate the last number, and in order to maintain the same size as the numbers element, we will insert a one at the beginning. So it will turn around and becomes one one two six from here. So the one two six. It came from the first, first three elements, that's right here. And then we will insert a one at the beginning. Same idea for the second array. Four, 12, and 24, that will go to here. And also we will insert a one at the beginning. And you might ask, what do we do with these two arrays? And it, we will use these two arrays like this. So we have the one times the 24, and that's actually the answer for the first element right here and then one times 12, right here. The answer for the second element, and then two times four, that's the third element, and then six times one, and that's the answer for the last element. So basically we will cross products for uh, with these two arrays one more time. So here times this guy, here times this guy, here times this guy, and here times this guy. So that is the algorithm. So let's look, take a look at together how can we implement that in code. We have an array called left to right. And also we have a variable called tune product and we will start it at one. And then left and right will keep appending the Q product. And then the Q product will keep updating itself by timesing the, the current element, current number in the numbers array. When we get out from this for loop, the left and right will be exactly this guy over here. And then we will do the same thing when we go the other direction from right to left. 
The only change in here is the indexing. We'll go backward. We'll go from the last index, go all the way to the front, and then the step is gonna be negative one because we're going backward. When we come out from this for loop, what we have is gonna be an array looks like this. And then the last step is the cross product, right? And then we have an answer array and then we can have the variable called product we have the left and to right element times the right to left element from the back this is from the front and this is from the back and this is where we do the cross products this one times this one this one times this one and this one times this one that's implemented right here and then we just append it to the answer array at the end just return it This will work. And then we will have a next step. We have a follow up right here. Can you solve this problem in big O one actual space? And the answer output array does not count as actual space for space complexity analysis. And to do that, what we do is to get rid of this right to left array. We just need a variable that keeps track of all the numbers. And actually we do not need an actual array and to store all the intermediate numbers. Let's take a look how we do that. And before we do that, I also want to let you know that we will keep this array. And then this one will be shortened. Let's take a look at the code. I'm gonna comment this block of code out and then uncommon this guy as you can see the first step is exact same right here so we have the left to right cumulative product array and then we will reset the variable cum product to be one and this is for the other direction from the right to left and we go for all the indexing and we have the backward indexing right so we have the negative one minus i if you cannot get the head around, so just look at some example. So for example, I will start from zero. When I is zero, this is gonna be negative one. So we'll point to the last last element. When I is one, this is gonna be negative two. When I is two, this is gonna be negative three. So we keep going backward in this index, left to right. And then we will update this element by timesing this Q product variable and at the same time we will also update this Q product variable by keep timesing Q keep doing a cumulative product to the nums array and also going backward so essentially over here what we're doing is exactly here this step we are collecting all the cumulative product backward from the end keep updating that to the cumulative product so that we can save a little bit of space and we do not need this right to left array anymore at the end we just return the left to the right array that we defined over here submit that and it will work just as well this is my solution to this problem thank you for watching see you next time